hello everyone hope you all are doing well so today i will start where i left in the previous lecture of our atomic physics lecture series okay so let's continue from there okay let's start okay i will start from energy level diagram of hydrogen atom i have attached here one uh, image from google you can see this one is the energy level diagram of hydrogen atom so let's discuss about it okay let me change the color of the pen okay yes we are good to go yes okay so in order to in order to remove in order to remove the electron the electron from ground state from ground state that is n is equal to 1 of hydrogen atom of hydrogen atom to infinity to infinity a minimum a minimum of plus 13.6 electron volt energy energy is required is required how can we say that uh, the energy required is plus 13.6 electron volt let me show you that the energy energy of first orbit of hydrogen atom is how much minus 13.6 electron volt so in order to remove the electron from ground state that is n is equal to 1 from hydrogen at of hydrogen atom to infinity so how much energy we needed plus 13.6 electron volt okay it's general yes if i will tell you that uh, from uh, the from your uh, second orbit how much energy is required that is n is equal to 2 uh, how much energy you require to remove uh, the electron from the second orbit that is n is equal to 2 to your to your which orbit to infinity how much energy you needed that is you know that if for n is equal to 2 your energy value is how much minus 3.4 electron volt so energy required to remove the electron is how much 3.4 electron volt plus 3.4 electron volt okay is that clear to you yes so we can say plus 13.6 electron volt is the binding energy is the binding energy is the binding energy of the hydrogen atom of hydrogen atom isn't it what do we mean by binding energy okay binding energy binding energy is what binding energy is the energy required to remove the electron from its uh, orbit okay so binding energy for hydrogen atom is how much plus 13.6 electron volt i can also say it like in this example i can say n is equal to 1 hydrogen atom it will become helium plus n is equal to infinity for isolated isolated single hydrogen atom isn't it yes okay let me do this uh, for your uh, also you can uh, do this uh, energy level diagram for hydrogen like atoms like lithium 2 plus beryllium uh, beryllium 3 plus okay you can do that for them okay let us proceed further to our next topic that is hydrogen atom spectrum or emission spectra this is very very important in order to your exam point of view let's start with this hydrogen spectrum hydrogen spectrum or your emission spectrum emission spectrum we will see some definitions then we will uh, describe it uh, in details okay so let's start with it let me change the color of the pen yes when electron when electron sorry yes when electron jumps from jumps from higher energy higher energy 
level to any lower energy level lower energy level it emits certain radiations it emits a photon having energy equal to equal to difference in difference energies of these two levels of these two levels that is the difference in energy between the higher energy level to which a uh, lower energy level it is transit okay this one <laughs> okay so this transition this transition this transition gives a spectral line spectral line in the spectrum in the spectrum okay i'll draw the diagrams for you let us suppose this one is my level ei and this one is level ef okay and this is ni orbit number and this is nf okay so if one electron is transit from this higher energy level to this what happens a photon emitted a photon is emitted having energy having energy having energy equal to the difference in energy between these two orbits okay is it clear to you yes we can also say we can also say the frequency the frequency of the energy uh, the frequency of the photon emitted okay what is the frequency of this photon emitted can say we know that the energy of the photon is how much h nu that is e initial by e minus e final so frequency nu will become e initial minus e final divided by h isn't it this is the expression for spectral line frequency frequency of spectral line frequency in spectral line okay is it clear to you okay we are good to go so if i have the expression for frequency i can also calculate the value of wavelength we know what we know we know lambda the value of lambda will become what we know nu into lambda is equal to c so i can write the expression for lambda will hc upon e initial minus e final isn't it yes this one is the expression for wavelength okay but we know according to bohr model according to bohr model what we know is term value term value of energy level energy level having energy energy ei is how much that is ti is equal to minus ei upon your hc i can also write it as how much we know that energy expression we can write as minus 13.4 hydrogen like atom i am talking about as i am talking about the hydrogen spectra okay we can write minus 13.6 electron volt into z square upon n square and i have uh, their hc so hc remain there so what i can write it as i can write it as r infinite into z square upon n square because minus 13.6 electron volt divided by hc is a constant quantity isn't it 
if you calculate you can find out that this is the red box constant and this uh, this is r infinite we denote it as r infinite okay so i can write tih i can write tih how much r infinite upon nf square sorry n i square because i am talking about ti so n i square okay similarly if i will talk about tf it will become r infinite upon n f square isn't it make it a box make it a box okay this is term value expression remember this is term value expression okay let's proceed further okay if if i will have to write the wave number wave number of the photon emitted of the photon photon emitted what i will write wave number expression is given by nu var is equal to 1 by lambda which is equal to tf minus ti isn't it i can also write it as 1 by lambda is equal to i have the expression for tf is r infinite upon nf square minus r infinite upon ni square isn't it yes so i can write by taking common that r infinite terms so my wave number that is nu bar is equal to 1 lambda will become r infinite taking outside the bracket 1 minus nf square minus 1 by ni square okay let's make it a box let's make it a box okay this one is the expression for what this one is the expression of wave number okay wave number okay let's see the different series spectral line series i have an image attached let me uh, have that for you okay this isn't the image yes this one this one is the image yes you can see here you can see from here there is different series one is lyman balmer pascan bracket and p1 okay these are the different series lyman series for lyman series if i will have to write for lyman series let me delete this one okay let it be there it's not deleting now okay for lyman series there are uh, we have how much uh, five series generally we talk about that is lyman balmer pascan bracket and people for lyman series the electron will jumps from uh, infinite to the first first orbit okay for balmer it is the second orbit for pascan it is the third orbit and for bracket it is the fourth orbit and for p font it is the five, uh, fifth orbit okay let me write them lyman balmer pascan bracket and lastly i have p font p font these are the series okay for lyman i have n is equal to one and n is equal to 2 n is equal to the 3 n is equal to 4 n is equal to 5 these are the n final okay remember these are the n final okay. yes let us talk about these series in details let me change the page yes okay we are good to go with this yes the Lyman series if I will talk about about Lyman series let us talk about our Lyman series yes so for Lyman series transition transition starts 
from n i is equal to 2 3 4 up to infinite to n final is equal to 1 okay so wavelength expression will become wavelength wavelength we can calculate from wave number that is 1 by lambda is equal to r infinite 1 minus n f square minus 1 minus n 1 by n i square okay so here we can change the values of uh, n i but for uh, for Lyman series n f will be fixed that is 1 okay so i can write it as 1 by uh, lambda is equal to r infinite 1 by 1 square minus 1 by n i square okay is it clear to you yes and remember this series lies in which region ultraviolet region ultraviolet region okay remember short questions always come from uh, this section like in which region Lyman series lies that is ultraviolet region okay and so secondly I have I have okay so let's uh, resume yes okay let me delete it first yes so second series is uh, Bamar series Bamar series Bamar series here but for Bamar series an initial will be your 3 4 5 etc to n final each your 2 okay remember your for Bamar series n final is 2 so if I will write the wavelength that is 1 by lambda will be equal to r infinite 1 by n final square minus 1 by n initial square is equal to r infinite 1 by 2 square minus 1 by n i square okay so third one we have for third one we have pascan we have pascan pascan series pascan series okay i forgot about uh, its region yes in which region this this one lies in which region this one lies this one lies in your visible region remember this one lies in your visible region for bummer this one lies in visible region okay visible region so yes i am talking about pascan series for Pascan series, n final will be 4, 5, 6 up to infinity. And in uh, sorry, n initial. This one is n initial. N initial. N initial. N initial will be 4, 5, 6 up to infinite. And n final will be 3. Okay. So the expression for lambda that is 1 by lambda is equal to r infinite into. 1 minus n final is 3 square minus 1 by n initial square you can for n initial will be equal to how much 4 5 6 dot 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 yes in which in which uh, in which region it lies generally it lies in infrared infrared region infrared region Pascan series lies yes so next one we have next one we have bracket series bracket series bracket series okay for bracket series the transition takes from your n initial is equal to 5 6 7 dot 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 up to infinite n final will be equal to 4 yes for bracket series we have n final is equal to 4 and 1 by lambda expression will be becomes r infinite 1 by 4 square minus 1 by n initial square okay is it clear to you and this series also lies in your infrared region in your infrared region infrared region okay yes let us move forward 
we have the last one that is p font for p font also you can write i am not writing it okay yes let us talk about uh, if i have the lyman series if i have the lyman series and i am talking about the wavelength of the wavelength of first line first line that is l alpha line l alpha line l alpha line okay so here n initial is 2 and n final is 1 because i am talking about the first line of lyman series first line means we have n initial is 2 and n final is 1 so here 1 by lambda l alpha will become what r infinite into your 1 minus 1 square minus 1 by 2 square okay from calculation you can get its value r infinite into your r infinite into 3 by 4 okay so lambda l alpha series will becomes 4 by 3 r infinite isn't it yes let's calculate it let's calculate it 4 of 1 3 read box constant the value is 1.0937 1.0973 okay 1.0973 0973 into 10 to the power 7 meter inverse okay so this value comes out to be 1215 armstrong okay this one is the wavelength of the first line of your lyman series okay yes this one is the largest remember this one is the largest largest wavelength of Lyman series largest wavelength of Lyman series generally question comes from uh, what is the largest wavelength of Lyman series for largest wavelength of Lyman series what will be the n initial okay so you have to write n initial will be 2 for largest wavelength of Lyman series that is from second orbit to first orbit transition takes place okay Similarly, you can calculate for wavelength of second line, wavelength of third line. I am not taking it. Okay. We you can also calculate that is the shortest wavelength. Okay. For if we are calculating the shortest wavelength, Lyman series, then I have wavelength, wavelength of series limit, series limit. Okay. That is L infinite. For L infinite, I have N initial is your infinite and N final is 1. Okay. Let us calculate 1 by lambda L infinite will be R infinite into 1 minus infinite, uh, sorry, 1 square, 1 minus N final. 1 by n final square minus 1 by n initial square okay r infinite 1 minus infinity 1 by sorry n final is 1 okay so n final is 1 so i have to write it as 1 square minus infinite okay so becomes lambda l infinite will becomes 1 by r red work constant that is 1 by 1 1.09737 into 10 to the power 7 meter inverse it will becomes lambda l infinite will become how much from calculation you can get this value as 911 Armstrong. okay this one is your expression for the limit series of Lyman series okay yes for Balmer series and for other series you can also calculate this okay 
let's proceed further and we will do we will do from we will start from let me see some problems if i can do here let me find from books okay i will do a separate class for the problem section okay so now uh, for this section i will end here the class okay thank you everyone uh, for watching